may be All the visions that I see May be waiting just for me to say Everybody. This is the singing Lego man here doing a Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens set review. This time it is Rey's speeder, which retails for $20. Really awesome set. You get Rey, her speeder, and an Uncar's Thug, or Uncar's Thug. I don't know how to pronounce that just yet. Also, please check out my channel to see a review on the First Order Snow Speeder and the TIE Fighter, the new TIE Fighter. So here's the front of the box, and you can see Rey zooming across the desert of Jakku, the new um, planet in the Star Wars series. Over here, ages 7 to 12, 75099, Rey Speeder, 193 pieces. And like I said, this retails for $20. Down here, you got the minifigures, and I um, really think that this scene right here captures that scene in the trailer that we saw. Moving on to the back of the box, we have some more functions and detailing of the set. All the different accessories you get. And then on the top you have Ray without her like little cloth on around her face. And the Uncar Thug or Uncar Thug. I have not heard it pronounced yet, so I'm not sure how to say that. Moving on we have the instructions. Pretty much the same as the box. Only a little bit different, um, well, the cover, that is. The inside, you got all the figures, and there's Poe Dameron's X-Wing. With the different figures that will come with that set. And all the functions. This manual consists of 41 different pages of building. Moving on our two minifigures, we have Rey herself and an Uncar Thug. Let's first get started on the close-up of him, so let's just move her to the side. Here we don't really know anything about um, this guy, as I am aware of. But all I know is I think it's really cool detailing. He comes with a little um, hood that comes off. It, he kind of looks like a robot, but again, I'm not sure until I've seen the movie. The face printing, though, is very well made, and that is like a metallic color head. Doesn't go on the back. It's like he's smiling, he got two eyes. I really like it. Uncar also comes with a tool of some sort. Kind of like a crowbar, I think. You get some leg printing. Tattered little pieces, and then you get some um, torso printing on both sides. It's like he's wearing a jacket on this side and it goes around to the back. And then some of this little shiny little speckles on him, I, I don't know, sparkles, I don't really know what that is. Maybe if he's a robot, it's like his robot body, but I'm not sure. So overall though, Nice little figure that we know nothing about, really. Um, but I do like it. Moving on to Rey, which we know more about. Like, she's a female protagonist in the movie. Um, we don't know the relationship she has to the other characters, though. But she does come, come with this giant staff. With two black lightsaber hilts. And then this is a... A lightsaber um, piece, except it's a little bit smaller, and it is in black, which normally you would not have on a lightsaber. You also get a nice new hair piece that it looks really nice with some curls, and there's the face. I think it captures the actress's likeness pretty well. You also get like a little handbag. Take the handbag off and this is your body. No arm printing. But you do get printing on the torso from around the body. It's like it's like a, a robe kind of deserty cloth is what she'd be wearing. With a belt. The legs, again, you it, it continues down because you have some belt printing. 
Now finally with this great figure you get the this mask um, which you see in the movie. It is like a, a turban of some sort, I'd say, a cloth. You do see this in the movie trailers. And I think that'd be like a little flashlight right there. But you got the two ice I like pieces to look out. And then some detailing around it. And then I think that's a little insignia, but I do not know exactly. Also with this figure, you get some tools. Here is a saw. And I, I believe this would be like a gun. And some micro binoculars. So here we have Ray with her cloth turban like thing on her head. Overall, my favorite figure I think that I have so far. Moving on to the speeder itself, excellent design. I really, I really think that they did very well on this. My favorite part would have to be down here. This little engine thing. And then it goes around to the back with the blue. You get some stickers right there. But again, um, it does capture the set very well, and they do move. So, I, I mean, if it was printed, that'd be even better, but it's there, and I think it makes the set look really nicely. You got a sticker up on top there as well. Some more stickers. Just to give the detailing of the set. This one does have a different one over here. Overall, I think they use some very advanced building techniques to give it that sleek design, um, which I have seen in a lot of these newer in the new Force Awakens sets. They do have a nice sleek design. They have it in the Snow Speeder as well. Um, very curvy. Nothing's really like you. You wouldn't really think it's a Lego if you look far away. And if you tiled some of this, it does not look like a Lego at all. On the bottom here, you have some pieces to give it that sensation of hovering which I think is pretty cool. I always like that. That was always a cool idea, I think. So this section, like the control panel, is just very nice, I think, um, how it was built. So moving on to the functions, you don't get a lot in regards to functions, but you do have these two stud shooters, which shoot very well. And you got them on both sides. Also, here you can open up this open up on both sides little flaps and this piece comes out it just kind of sets right in there um, this is obviously a crate to hold more of your little stud shooters but in the box they have a video uh, a little picture of Ray riding on this piece so maybe it has something to do with the movie but again I'm not sure since I've not seen the movie yet nor has anyone else or they just did that to give like an extra little function. Um, it's definitely different. So I'm not sure what it is. If it is like a real thing or not. But we can just take her off. Put that back over here. Close up these hatches. And here you get some more detailing. Right where it goes, it connects onto. But overall, functions-wise, you don't got a lot. However, um, you can do this where you can take her different accessories. So, now let's put the little mask thing back on. Take her different accessories right here. You attach that, and then you attach that. It all hooks on right there. Also, these little binoculars hook on right there. The gun, and finally the saw. So, um, you really, it's hard, it'd be hard to lose these accessories because they are attached and they do attach pretty well. They don't come off. But functions wise, again, there's not that much. But that is okay considering that it is $20 and it is a vehicle. But I, I do like the incorporation of, um, these panels that open and close could also be like an exhaust or something you also do have some like exhaust vents in the front um, I do 
rather would rather have a nice, good model to look at than a function model, especially with these sets. And I think that LEGO did deliver in that department, because it does look very nice and um, the detailing again is very well made. And then this little, up here the control panels, we can just stick Ray right here. You can get these little controllers in your hand. They're, they're, more, they're antennas really, but they're being used as like a controller. And she can kind of back up and, you know, you can move it with the hand where it's like and she just zooms off. Um, but that is basically it for the set. There's not much more to say other than it is very well made, and I would give it a 10 out of 10. Um, Playability-wise, you don't have much, but it's okay because it does look amazing in my opinion, so that's why I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Um, not much more to say about this set. So my final thoughts on this set are, no matter if you're a diehard Star Wars fan, or if you just saw the movies, or if you're just going to see The Force Awakens, this set is $20, and you get this nice speeder, which may become an iconic vehicle, we don't know. Um, and it, it is done very well, you get the main, one of the main characters, the main protagonist, female, and this guy. Um, so at the price point of $20, which is about $0.10 cents per piece, I would definitely recommend buying this set. So... Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this review. This is a Singing Lego Man signing off. See you in my next video. Hey everybody, this is a Singing. Nope. Twenty dollars. Nope. Okay. For Star Wars review. From the Force, no. Hey everybody, this is a singing Lego man. No. Yeah, that's right. Here we have an action shot of Ray Speeder on this new sand planet, not Tatooine. I cannot remember the name of it. No, wait, hang on, what's it called? So my final thoughts on this set are, if you really, if you're really excited, my final thoughts on this set are, if you're excited for the movie, um, this is a great set. So my final thoughts are Singing Lego Man signing off. Check out my other vids. Comment, rate, no. So my final thoughts in this set are if you're, you, so my final. <laughs>